Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I just got done with a new cinematic montage of the Master Chief and Cortana's journey through the Halo timeline and it got me so excited to open this parcel today. You cannot get more iconic than the Mega Constructs figure inside this box. I know from reading the title you'll know what's inside. I've held on to this for quite a while waiting for just the right moment to unbox it. And I think today's the day. Halo Infinite hype is through the roof and oh, we've got a single figure today. Now you may be saying, Simon, what possibly can be so important about one Halo Mega Constructs figure? Well, Halo Heroes has been a specialized range of Mega Constructs figures, all premium quality, really nice paint applications. They release like one series every year, maybe two series a year, and they're always just iconic figures with gorgeous weapons, amazing base plates. And way back in the day, they made Halo Heroes Series 5. Now, nobody really knows what happened with that series, but it was so hard to get your hands on, and today, I have the holy grail of all Halo heroes, possibly the most expensive Halo Mega Constructs figure on the market, and this figure was presented to me today by World Trader for Mega Constructs. He actually sent me this for free just to thank me for doing the Infinity giveaway that we did about a month and a half ago. And I cannot thank him enough for his generosity. Please head over to World Trader for Mega Constructs to get loads of cool Halo bargains. There's people selling all sorts of stuff including Halo Heroes Series 5 over there. And today, we're gonna open it. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm also kind of... This video might also upset a lot of people because a lot of people don't want to see this figure opened. A lot of the pure collectors out there would think this figure has to remain sealed to keep its authenticity, but I, I just can't, I can't be like that. I, I got it. he's gotta join the boys, he's gotta join the troops, he can't stay in a box. You ever watch Toy Story? You imagine the toy just staying in the box forever? That's horrible. Alright, here we go. Ah. Oh. There we are. That is, that is a hero right there. That's, that's the epitome of the Master Chief. The height of the Halo franchise during Halo 3. He's got the signature flamethrower, gorgeous armor. Oh man, I can't wait to get this thing open. So let's take a closer look at this to start off with. It's got a nice gold packaging, akin to like the 10th anniversary of Halo 3. And the flamethrower looks beautiful. The Master Chief just, mm, it just looks beautiful. It just looks so gorgeous. I've got the Halo 3 Master Chief that came with the Warthog run and side by side, this one looks so much nicer, goodness me. I'm gonna do loads of comparisons to other Master Chiefs at the end of the video and look at that beautiful Halo 3 design. That is iconic of Halo 3, especially the flamethrower, walking through Floodgate, just burning Flood Hunters. Amazing times. Ah, oh, I, I probably need to go and play Halo 3 after this. And then on the back packaging, we can see the lineup, which was legendary. We've got the Arbiter, Johnson, Cortana, the Prophet, and a brute bodyguard. I can confirm that I got some more on the way, which is pretty exciting. But still, if anybody has a Cortana or an Arbiter or a brute bodyguard, hit me up, okay? Oh, I, I, I'm, I don't want, I don't like, I don't want to open it either. But I know that I do. <laughs> I, oh man. Okay, okay. Here we go, fellas. Oh, this is, this is de devaluing it by like. 100%. Oh, buddy. Okay. Well, the, the back came off nicely. You could always stick that on a wall. <laughs> okay, here we go. He's still hanging on. He's still hanging into the package, and he's like, you, you can still turn back. You can still sellotape this back together. I'm sorry, Chief. You're coming out. There we go. Okay, we've got a nice pamphlet first. Shows you how to build the figures, as if you wouldn't know. And then all of these. I love this little lineup. That's really nice. That's beautiful. That's that's the epitome of Halo 3 right there. That's gorgeous. Yeah, we've also just got the codes on the back for the figures. Beautiful. Beautiful. The packaging, amazing. Here we go. The Master Chief. Gorgeous. Look at that. We'll build up to the figure. Let's pop this base plate out. Yeah, I hope you also really enjoyed my first episode of Travel Blocks. It's my brand new sort of vlogging, mystery pack opening, Halo related video vlogging series. I, I love it. I, I'm a big fan. There's going to be a new one coming out about basically how I'm dealing with 
a quarantine in this hotel for 14 days straight. We're not allowed to leave this room. It's a, it's a little weird. All right, Master Chief Mark VI armor. Very nice. I love the gold base plate. I mean, they all look similar there. Look at that. We've got four, five, and six right next to each other. Very nice. So we've got this flamethrower. I believe this is the exact same as a normal flamethrower. I've got the new mold flamethrowers from the flame marines that have the flame, but this is really cool coming out of a Halo 3 flamethrower. That's really nice. Simon's pro tip, if you want to make a really cool flame for your flamethrower, just get a little match or like a lighter and just burn the end slightly. It comes out with a really nice effect. I'm not going to do it with the Master Chief because this figure's way too valuable, but it is a cool thing to do. All right, here we go. Here he is. Ah, he's just getting out of cryo sleep. He's just shaking it off. There we go. Okay, look at that. Really, really nice. That is that is a gorgeous Master Chief. One of the main things that Jonathan always pointed out is that the problem that you usually have with Master Chiefs, the helmet is always a slightly different tone to the actual armor, which is a pain. If you look at this Halo 3 Master Chief from the Warthog run, you can clearly see that the helmet is a different shade to the chest. It sounds tiny, but once you notice, it can get a bit annoying. This one, Jonathan always assured me that it was perfect, and it is. Look at that. It comes with some really nice battle damage on his chest. Quite limited, but lovely at the same time. This one from the Warthog run, it's metallic, you know? The Master Chief is not metallic. The Master Chief is this nice lime green. This is exactly out of Halo 3. I love it. That's, ah. Oh. Let's give him his flamethrower. There we go. This is a piece of history, ladies and gentlemen. A piece of Mega Constructs history. I've been eyeing this guy up for years. And I cannot thank World Trader for Mega Constructs enough for hooking me up. The molding, exceptional. The black base coat, exceptional. The way the armor forms on the back, I mean, it all just looks wonderful. I love his shoulders. I love everything about this figure. The Master Chief, one of the rarest and most expensive Mega Constructs figures in the world. There isn't much more to say other than I am starstruck. I am in the presence of royalty. This is a phenomenal figure. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm now going to follow this with a montage that I hope you stick to till the end. It's going to have lines of dialogue from all the cutscenes of the Halo games alongside all of the beautiful close-ups of all these Master Chief figures. This was another video with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you're enjoying my content in Hong Kong and you continue to support me. Stay tuned in the next couple of days for an in-depth discussion video about Halo Infinite that I'm hosting with Jonathan. And yeah, thanks as always for your support. You all have a great day out there and the Master Chief is signing off. Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! What is it, Master Chief? What happens if we run out of time? Then our only choice will be to annihilate the Covenant fleet, the package, and your entire team. I understand. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. Master Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. Got an escape plan? Thought I'd try shooting my way out. Mix things up a little. Our duty, as soldiers, is to protect humanity, whatever the cost. What's Cortana up to, Chief? Why'd she bring us here? Let's keep moving. <laughs>